Hi guys. We love you. Um, I'm going to give you guys an update on the Amber Geiger, the police officer who went into the wrong apartment and shot dead Botham Jean. Uh, she was um, charged with manslaughter a little while ago, and her charges have now been upgraded to first degree murder. So um, she was originally on bail for, for manslaughter and she had to be uh, booked and recharged and she is uh, on bail again. So somebody's putting some money up for her. And she has a lawyer. She is now a Dallas ex ex police officer. And um, there's lots of reports coming out how she ever even got to the wrong floor, entered the wrong home. Uh, reports are saying, neighbors saying that um, she was knocking on the door saying, let me in, let me in. Um, another person said they heard arguments, shouting, um, you know, shouting. And heard two gunshots, you know, that kind of thing. But like I reported in another video, if you'd like to go look at it, when she was first charged, um... Her apartment is 1378. She's on the third floor. Now, Bothan Jean, his apartment is on the fourth floor, 1478. So now we find out that she is directly underneath his apartment. Now, some people are saying that maybe um, he, he may have been too loud. You know, maybe his TV was up all the time and she's had problems with him. So maybe she went up there. But that's just um, hearsay. Um, he did have a carpet outside his door. And she did not have a carpet outside her door. Now, you got to remember, she's just finished her shift at work. And she didn't come from a bar, and she wasn't drunk and silly, as far as we know. I don't know if she's got any drugs inside her, but we don't know that, and the reports haven't come out stating so, because this is going to trial. And this would be a good one to watch, because I like to know, we like to know the facts. We like to know the facts. You know, how could you make a mistake? I mean, she'd been, in, she'd been living there long enough to know um, where to park her car and what her door looks like. You know, those kind of things. You get to know that. But um, so she has, um, uh, the lawyer stated that it's, um, that this was a justified shooting because she thought it was her own apartment. But we like to know how she even got in the apartment. This is what she stayed in because nobody seems to know exactly. Only her. Saying that um, she put her key. They have a special key in those apartments, I guess. It's like um, um, a fob or something. You push the key in and it kind of clicks. So you don't have to turn it or nothing. It's like a swipe card, but it's a key that goes in the in the uh, the lock, something like that. I'm not sure how they're explaining that. But anyway, so um, if you did use that key, it's definitely not going to open somebody else's door, or is it? Could that ever happen? That the door managed to open. Or was she um, pulling on the door 
or something and he's watching TV. Apparently he's watching TV, he's watching a soccer game, uh, what well, football game. Um, apparently, I don't know who said that, but he's watching something on the TV and he heard his door being messed around with. He may have came to the door and opened it himself. That could have happened. That's just my opinion. Um, that could have happened. But people are saying there's no way the door could have been just a jar with um, nothing holding the door open because it would have automatically shut. It's a safety door. So we just don't know at this time how she ever got in that apartment. And this is her story and she's sticking to it. So she's got a lawyer. And his mother stated that um, he, he, they come from uh, St. Lucia. And he came to the United States to study. And then he found a job in Dallas. And he worked as an accountant. So he got a college degree. And this man worked hard. He worked hard to get to where he got to and found uh, a good job. Now, we really want to know why she ended up in the wrong apartment. And she shot this guy, not only once, but she shot him twice. And then she states that um, it was dark in there. It was really dark. Well, I don't know if it was that dark. Do you know what I mean? Because he's got the TV on. He probably got a light on. Um, and when you first come into an apartment, you know, don't you recognize, recognize things? Yeah, you kind of recognize, oh my God. But we don't know how she got in there in the first place. But I'm thinking he, she must have been... Um, pushing the door, banging it a bit, saying, why ain't my key working kind of thing? I don't know. Who's in there? Let me in. Like the neighbor said, let me in. But I don't know how they heard it, you know. Is it not soundproof in those apartments? I don't know, but it must have been pretty loud for the neighbors to be hearing uh, yelling, let me in and yelling and shooting. So, uh, the mother says, his mother, Botham Jean's mother said, that um, they don't know each other. Because we thought maybe they know each other. Maybe she was going up to see him. And you know, all the speculation that was going around, maybe she's going up there for some drugs or weed. But, you know, that's out the window. So, was she high when she got there? Did she smoke a bowl before she went home? I'd like to know if they drug tested her for anything. You know, any pills or something. Well, you never know, but I bet they did. But, you know, they're not going to uh, release all the information they have because they're going to take it to trial. So, they don't want everything getting out. So, they um, have checked um, friends, family members of both of them, the phones, computers, to see if they do know each other in any way. But as far as I know, they seem that they didn't know each other. But how does a sober officer coming off duty park on the fourth floor and not on the third. A carpet outside his apartment, which was a big red flag, if you ask me. My God, if I went home and I was on the, if I lived in the apartment and I went home and I didn't realize I was on the wrong floor, but if I see a carpet out there and I didn't have one, well, I would automatically know that. Oh my God, I'm on the wrong floor. Oh, you know, and off I go. 
but um, we just don't know. So, what do you think, guys? What do you think about her story? I mean, she was just arrested again just the other day, upgraded from manslaughter to first-degree murder. And to get first-degree murder, it has to be intentional, an intentional act and, you know, deliberate. So to file these charges, to upgrade the charges. You see, they've had a little bit more time to get the um, information together. And so this is going to be a good case, guys. Uh, let's follow this one and see where it goes. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Did she deliberately do it? Was it a mistake? But she had enough time to realize these steps that she took, like the carpet, her key didn't fit the door. Did she not look at the number to the door? Because if you're trying to get your key, the number of your apartment would be like in your face kind of thing. She never noticed that. So there's all these things that she wasn't taking notice of that wasn't, that should have been all red flags. And if she's saying, let me in, well, I don't know why she would be saying, let me in, but that's what people say that we're in the apartment building. But if, he, if she was making a fuss with the door and kind of banging on it a little bit, why ain't my key working? He may have opened the door because he said, what in the hell, you know, what's going on? Is somebody trying to get in my apartment? But, you know, when she shot him twice and then she turns the light on. And then she says she realizes she's not in her apartment. She's in the wrong apartment. And she shot an innocent man who she thought was a robber or somebody. But you know what? That's hard to believe because, well, she says the door's ajar. But if it wasn't ajar and she just made that story up, how would a robber get into her apartment if the door shut? Because that's supposed to be quite high security there. Because if you pay good money for security, you want security, don't you? You know. So her story is not adding up. That's all I'm saying. And when she turned the light on, she, there's one thing she did do. Well, she had to do it. She called 911 for an ambulance and called for backup. But you know, that in her first rodeo, so you know, she's been in trouble, done something and shot somebody uh, on the job before, but I don't know the reasons, what really was the outcome on that. Maybe she got away with it, you know. But it sounds like this officer is not all the ticket. Unstable. She looks a bit unstable looking at her. If you ask me, that's just my opinion. She does look a bit um, unstable to me. So I'd like to know if she was on any medication, uh, legal or not. So we're going to be following this one, guys, because I just don't understand how you could get even go into the wrong apartment when there was signs showing you, flat out showing you this was not your apartment. So what do you think of this one, guys? Comment and let's discuss this video. Thank you.